It's probably the most complex building and the most diverse range of skills and knowledges of finishes and services and structure that we've come across. And the beauty of it all is that at the end of the day it seems seamless. It doesn't look like it's over-engineered. It doesn't look like it's trying to be too smart. It's just calmly, confidently excellent. This project is by far the most complex in terms of engineering gymnastics of, of, of any building, certainly that I've been involved in. Both from, a, from an architectural point of view, the architectural solution to what was uh, a problem that exists or a challenge that existed on, on this site for, for, for many, many years. And it's only through Grocon, the way they value engineering input and, and certainly their own engineering input is, is, is something that we work closely with. The, the bit that I think is most successful uh, is the way the new building in sandstone uh, adjacent to the old money box building in sandstone has been done. It's clearly a modern interpretation, but it's respectful of the old building. And that's what uh, Grocon have done. The real value, I think also, that Grocon brought to the project was their engineering expertise and their logistics. Um, so they were able to, for instance, the cantilevered office tower, they were able to really redesign that and make sure that it didn't have any impact on the heritage building and basically cantilevers over it, which is just remarkable, which nobody will really recognise. They'll think it just sits there, but it's a phenomenal. There are a number of world firsts in this project. The cantilever, the extraordinary cantilever, over 20 metres of a, of a major high-rise building, was fundamental to the approval. We could not build a tower bearing any weight at all on the existing heritage buildings. Many thought it wasn't possible to design a structure that way. Grocon actually changed the initial structural design and made it even more daring and more minimal in terms of more sustainable, I guess, in terms of the use of steel. And initially we were quite concerned. We thought, my God, you know, if it hadn't have been Grocon, we wouldn't have believed that it was possible. There just didn't seem to be enough steel in it you know, to support itself. The cantilever is, is affected by a, a big, by a splayed columns which form a big V. And so those columns, if we look up at the facade uh, behind me, you can see that the, on the upper the six floors of the building, there are a pair of inclined columns that form a V that you can see through the glass. And those inclined columns are part of the bracing structure which enables the cantilever to occur, enables half of the floor to be cantilevered on the other side of the building. And the way the steel member shafted through several floors on, on the diagonal so that the whole building itself became the structure, not, not just components, slabs and beams, but the whole, everything was working together. Super efficient structure, very, very innovative. My desire is to stop everyone that in Martin Place and make them look up and, and to tell them about it, but uh, unfortunately I can't do that. <laughs>